In this section of videos, we're going to start looking at some of the add-ons or features or extras or, in Joomla parlance, extensions that help us take our Joomla website and extend it out to something far more useful. Every website needs a contact us form, so fortunately Joomla has a pretty good one built in. It's called Contacts. Before we dive into that, let's just take a quick peek at the forms extensions for Joomla on the JED or the Joomla extensions directory. One of the things that's happened over the last number of years in the Joomla ecosystem is that a lot of really good extensions have become paid extensions. Now, most of them are pretty cheap, 25, 35, 45 dollars and things like that, which is far less than the $25,000 I spent on a CMS 10 years ago. However, it's a bit of a shift and we're not all quite used to this. Looking at the forms section, for instance, ProForms is a paid extension. RS Forms Pro is a paid extension. In fact, they do have a free version, but it's 1.5 only. Breezing Forms is a paid extension. ViS Forms is free, but it's Joomla 2.5 only. Breezing Forms has a light version that is free for Joomla 3, and it has great ratings. The other one that's really popular is Chronoforms. Uh, I've been a big Chronoforms fan in the past. Uh, it's a great extension, and it is also free to use. They'll just put a, a little footer at the bottom of every form. So really, we've got just a few options here. Breezing Forms, RS Form Pro, and Chronoforms tend to be the three big ones in the form area right now. Uh, my personal preference right now is RS Form Pro. It does a, a really nice job. I think it's a little easier to build forms than Chronoforms. And Breezing Forms, uh, again, I've not used it very much. It's a strong contender, and a lot of people really love it. You'll see from the votes here, they both have about the same reviews, about the same votes, and they have exactly the same number of stars. If you're looking to get feedback on your site via Forms beyond the Contact Manager, Either of those, or Chronoforms, is probably a pretty good choice. We're focusing on free extensions in this course. In that scenario, we could try Breezing Forms Lite, but we're going to stick with the main contact manager. Click on Components, Contacts, and the process is exactly the same. Categorize, Add, and then Show through a menu. Let me demonstrate it. Let's set up a new category called Staff. And because this is the only category, let's put all the contact information in here as well. 1234 West Main Street, My Town, Georgia, 555, 555, 555, and hit Save and Close. Click on Contacts and click New. Let's put a couple of contacts in here. We'll uh, have Chuck Grimes, and he's going to be our head chef. We'll have Chuck at mycoolcafe.com. And I'm going to throw in an image here, just one of the ones that I've uploaded earlier. Feel free to grab any image you want there and insert that. Because we have all of the primary contact information in the category description, we actually don't need to add that in here because it's a staff directory. Change that category to staff and click Save and New. Let's have Herb Waits. And Herb is our head waiter. And once again, I'm going to just throw any old image up there for Herb. And we'll have Herb at mycoolcafe.com as well. And put him in the staff directory. Save and close. So now I have two staff members in the staff category. And the last step, of course, is to show through a menu item. Let's have a menu called Contact Us. It's a contact. And we have four options here. Feature contact, list all the categories, list the contacts in a category or a single contact. I'm going to choose list contacts in a category and choose the staff category. On the category page itself, we'll put the title and show, the description and show. This way we don't have to worry about global parameters a little bit. In list layouts, we'll hide the filter field. We don't really need that. We'll hide the display select. 
and we'll hide the table headings. We really don't need any of those as well. We can show position, email, and mobile, and all of those things, but again, that's pretty standard on our application. If this was a staff directory in a major business, we could do all of those and have them right on the listing page. Click Save and Close. Go back over to my home page, hit Refresh, and go to Contacts. My staff category is there, main contact information, and here's Chuck Grimes. When I click on Chuck, I have a contact and a contact form. This is my preference, not using the sliders. I'm not much of a slider guy, but you have three options there. If I go back into my Contact Us menu, click on Contact Display Options, I can change the display format from sliders to tabs to plain. If I say tabs and hit refresh, now they're in tabs. The contact component really hasn't changed that much since 2.5, and it's a great way to set up a pretty sophisticated contact management system on your website. If you want more than that, then again, I suggest one of those forms components we looked at earlier. Uh, my favorite, RS Forms Pro. There is an expense to it, but it can be well worth it.